what was going through my head right before we did our live improv drum solo, and how did the show go? Coming up. Marhaba Habibi, I am Jen Suya helping you to achieve your belly dance dreams with the technique and culture of belly dance. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure that you get every one of our videos uploaded each Monday. Live improv drum solo is exciting, it's dynamic, and it can also be scary. In this video, you're gonna come along with drummer Bob and me on our way to our drum solo performance at a Hofla put on by our friends Rachel and B. Now, if you have not already seen the vlog that we did on that entire day, you'll wanna check out that video. We'll put the link in the description and in the card. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the thoughts that were going through my head about how I was feeling about that drum solo before the performance. And then we're gonna show you the actual four minute drum solo performance. Here we go. Ooh. Bob and I are gonna do a drum solo for this, supposed to keep it under four minutes, which I hope we're gonna do. Um, because we, we practice, but we do not nail down a choreography. The thing is, if you nail down an exact drum solo arrangement and choreography, you can get that down precisely and it can be beautiful. But to really get the joy of the dance, it's not just about what we're doing and showing off, it's about drawing in the audience and responding to the audience. So if we have an audience who's really into something, you wanna go with that really something they're into. You have to Con be spontaneous. Yeah, responding to the energy that's there. If we have an audience who's a little bit more, um, uh, reserved, then maybe you're not going to want to do stuff that is over the top. So I think what Bob and I really enjoy doing is practicing our stuff and then literally being in the moment, which I particularly like because I tend to be a left brainer and plan everything. So to me, a huge part of the joy in dancing is finishing, letting go of all that preparation and just going for it in the in the moment responding to who's there to the music to the mood that bob's in to the mood that i'm in to the mood the audience is in and having fun with that you know if something's sore and you can't do that really awesome move you want to do you can improvise i mean that's what it is so uh, so the drum solo is going to be really fun i hope cool. give it up for bob and Jensen.
our drum solo performance at the Hofla. Question of the day, have you done live improvised drum solo? And if so, what was the scariest part for you? And if you haven't done it yet, what freaks you out most about it? Drop your comments below and also let us know, do you want us to do tutorials on how to do drum solo, whether live or recorded? Let us know in the comments what to watch next, the vlog on the entire Hofla day, uh, what is a Hofla, how to prepare for a Hofla, in fact, the entire playlist of Hofla skills. And you can also watch my reaction on a drum solo practice that Bob and I did in the studio. Okay, Masalama, we'll see you on the next video.